Pastor E.A. Adeboye. He says, honor can only be given to who already has honor. Honor is only possible to be referred to whom honor is due. He then said, if you call a governor his excellency, you do not need to have a description why he is called his excellency. Because to have reached the position to be addressed as the governor of a state, that means that man or woman is actually very excellent. Today we want to come and fulfill that statement here and that's why we are here. The Institute of Leadership, Manpower and Management Development has its operational office here in Ibadan, but it's registered for Nigeria and everyone in this world. And there's one person we came to honor today and two shall become one. Adlai Ola, Rosemary, Adek Borioye. You are the one? You are the one. Please, can we ask you to stand up, please? Please stand. Please come up. Please stand. Please stand. We, we will not be, we are not qualified to decorate your husband. So the institute taught it worthwhile to honor you and then you can decorate your husband. <laughs> Sir, this is the surprise I'm telling you. The Institute of Leadership, Manpower, Management Development has entered a full-fledged partnership with International Leadership, Manpower, Management Development, UK. We are also now in partnership with UNICAF and UNICAF Universities. UNICAF Universities and UNICAF are in over 15 countries. I also want to tell you that International Academy of Teaching Professionals is now fully in partnership with this organization. Lately, the Partnership for Chartered Institute, Institute of Public Administration and Governance USA is already also on the way. Prow University India is also partnership with this institution. Birmingham Business School is also partnership in partnership with this institution and still counting. Lately, we started registration and partnership that we believe will be full-fledged so that we can run a full-fledged university. Please decorate her for recognition. This is Pastor Tony Abang, and the other is Pastor Emeka Agwobi. They are part of the directories we have raised for the purpose of the institute. Okay. Upon the recommendation of the board of directors, hereby confers upon Ade Fola Rosemary Ade Borioye, the doctorate of pastoral care and social welfare, honoris causa, in, in honor of your myriad contributions to society in pastoral care and social welfare endeavors. I so present. Thank you very much. Oluro to me, Vincent Adeboriye. Please, can we respectfully ask you to step forward, sir? Thank you very much, sir. Can you please stand? You know, someone very important is already wearing the gown. So we would ask her to join for the decoration. Okay, please, can we ask Dr. Mrs. Adekola Rosemary to please step forward. To be assisted on the other side. 
by our directorate. Please wear this thing in slow motion. It's my daddy you are addressing. Honor and dignity met me when I met this man. So dress him well. Dressing. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay like that. It's okay. It's very neat. Yeah. I you are looking sweet. Okay. Please wear the cloth. The cloth. The cloth. The cloth. The cap. Can we have that? So, ladies and gentlemen, upon the recommendation of the Board of Trustees and Directors, hereby confers upon Oluro Timi Vincent Adegoroye the Doctorate in Transformational Leadership and Personnel Administration in honor of your myriad contribution to society and leadership and personnel administration endeavors all over the world. Giving under our hands with all rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto this day, Wednesday, 12th of June, 2024. Congratulations. Please come, come, come down, come down. Please, can we ask you to step there so that I can take a picture with you because we have not really done the major one. When I came in here, this staff, hello, was in health. There's a reason for it why it's in health. There are few people in this world who have the opportunity of wearing a platinum gown. We have, in the Institute of Leadership, Manpower, Management, Development, been able to put on the platinum gown on the very few people. The last time we put on this platinum gown on someone was the family of the Dantatas, who happened to be the earliest entrepreneurs in Nigeria for which private entrepreneurship stemmed. Today, while we do so, we didn't hand over to them the stuff because they are not worth it yet, until we do this one. Ladies and gentlemen, please. I do have a platinum regalia to go. So, I'd like to ask, should I please wear this, or I should do it in this club? Okay, sir. So I ask so that I can wear this. It says I can go ahead. Thank you. The Platinum Fellowship of the Institute is the echelon of the echelon of the Institute. And the Platinum Gown is now worn on very few of the people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, if you know the MAS very well, you will know that after a dress, if there is no Platinum Regalia, it's not complete. The one that all of you may be familiar with is that the song, I don't know if I pronounced that well, of Obomosho, was when leaving Jesus' house in London, they looked for what they could have used to honor him. The only thing that was worthy enough was a platinum gown. Lately, Archbishop Shop Duncan Williams was being honored, and the only thing they could wear on him was a platinum gown. For those of us who watched the last World Cup, before the cup was presented to the captain of the country of the team who won it, a platinum badge was worn on him. In order for us to respect and give honor to whom honor is due today, I'm really emotional here. I want to say thank you for, thank you. Wow. 
Sir, before meeting you, I have spoken in places where honor, honor is rested, but honor never followed me there. It's after I met you and these organizations got registered that no matter how big you are, as long as I'm the one conferring the honor on you, I am as honored as you. Thank you, sir. I used to think that I was a good speaker. I never knew that my words could form change. This gave me the opportunity. Now, a lot of you also hear the statement, let the cup be worn on whom the cup fits. It is in your eyes today that you are experiencing it. Is that taken? The cup we want to wear on him today, anywhere you see somebody wearing it is important. But it's only in Nigeria that it is jeopardized and bastardized. The cup that we want to wear on him today is the cup that the Kana set uses, is the cup that the whole Philistine executive arm of government uses. It's called the diplomatic cup. So when we shout, let the cup be worn on Dr. Olurotimi Decent, uh, Deborioye. I want you to shout and say, the cup fits. Is that taken? Yes, we would therefore welcome to the stage my first honor to welcome Dr. Olurotimi Vicent Adeboriye to the podium. Thank you. We had to, we had to choose the blood of the lamb on this as a color of this, so that he knows that he is fully well covered. Please put it to me. It's an honor for me to come and honor you, having some seen that the little ideology I carry about leadership can make a whole lot of difference in a nation. I wear this regalia, this platinum badge on you, believing that everyone who is here present do believe that your contribution to the RCCG and to the growth of leadership at large in Nigeria and beyond deserves this. Let the cup, please don't forget, be one on whom the cup. So when you hear, let the cup be one on whom the what? The cup fits. Let the cup be one on Dr. Oluro to me, Vincent Adegori. You will now shout, the cup fits. Let the cup be one on whom. Let the cup be one on whom? Can the cup be worn on Dr. Oluro to me, Vincent Adeboroye? I make this 
presentation to you that the scepter of authority will never depart from your home. Amen. That when your children's children see this dress, they will know that a great man passed. This earth and it came through the family of the Adeboreoyes. I also want to say the least this family will ever have is you. In the name of Jesus, I so present. Therefore, let the journey begin. Thank you very much, sir.